Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Knight and I'm Elijah Carrasco. Welcome to Focal Point. Today, we will be discussing what global warming has been doing to Antarctica and why this issue is important to all of us. First, let's talk about the southernmost continent in our world, which has the other famous pole, the South Pole. Antarctica has 5.5 million square miles of land, mostly covered with ice. In effect, only 2% of it is inhabited because it is the coldest, driest, and windiest place in the entire world. The last time our planet's temperature rose noticeably was around 3 million years ago. And Antarctica's ice sheet melted at the time, causing the sea level to rise by as much as 65 feet. Now imagine what such a sea level rise can cause to low-lying cities such as Miami. And we're just some of the nearly 2.4 billion people living close to the sea. The fact is that by the year 2030, the sea level may rise about 6 feet due to the current rate of environmental emissions. And what does Antarctica have to do with this, you may ask? Simple. Experts say that 90% of the heat from global warming has ended in the, ocean, in the oceans of the world, especially those in the southern parts of our gorgeous planet. That means that the warmer water down there reaches Antarctica quite easily, thus helping its ice sheet to melt faster. That is why we must do something to stop global warming, because a rise in temperatures means more of Antarctica's ice sheets will turn into more water for the world's oceans. Since 1880, the oceans of the world have risen 8 inches. If Antarctica's immense storage of water were to melt, the sea levels would rise by 190 feet. Do we stand a chance? You tell me. I'm Elijah Carrasco. And I'm Nichelle Knights. Thanks for watching Focal Point!